What it do, folks? It's your lady A for Anika, the girl with the Nika. Okay. And also the girl with the Showbiz Patrol. Welcome back to Showbiz Patrol on a Friday. You know how we do right here on Showbiz Patrol. I keep you updated on what's happening in show business, entertainment, and all things trending. You can see I'm moving my hand a lot because, <laughs> darling, I'm bedazzled right now. Yeah, shout outs to Bella Collectibles. Look at me. Anyways, let's get right into the gist of this week. Helen and her sister wanted all of us to know that her sister is pregnant for David Doe and that David Doe was not. My sister here is pregnant. She's pregnant for someone that doesn't want to claim the pregnancy and is denying David Doe. So her sister is pregnant for David Doe. What should we now do? Everybody was like, oh well another one right but then it turns out that this is our audio pregnancy that the girl was not actually pregnant the girl has not even seen the video as a matter of fact we told you guys it was just a joke okay, it was a brown what you gotta be kidding me this is this is too much for davido davido is he, he's going he's on a lot right now i mean he's got his new baby and rumor is now that his father too is expecting a baby so he got babies he got siblings to deal with he don't need this right now so he now put out a bounty of 1 million naira to anybody who would get the information of these girls so that he can treat their fuck up. We posted a video a few days back about um, the video and the thing went viral. Even more than the world would think. It's really, the video has really gone far and you know, different bloggers. Hey, I said, I'm Jackpa. <laughs> Where is the accent? Where is the hello? I want everybody to know today and not everybody. Can you just imagine these girls? So all this was for clout. You accuse someone of being pregnant. You even state the whole scenario. There was a hotel, um, a co-hotel and suite. There was this, there was that. All for what? We are only trying to congratulate him in a unique way. Yeah. Just to catch his attention. Share this attention that they want from David Doe. <laughs> they will see it and they will run. Pepe them season. How, how can you just do that? You just come on social media and just say whatever. Like, girl, no, you guys got it wrong. This ain't a way to get David's attention. Like, you know, send him the nudes, show him, you know, your bra on him when he's on stage. But, you know, this whole channel you guys went through, nah, it's not working. And I heard that he's going to, like, really put them in jail. Like, this is going to be some Kiri Kiri Josephine situation. Okay, speaking of this bounty, yeah, it's like there's lots of money to be won in this Xmas season. You know? Everybody's just like putting bounty and, you know, offering money for whistleblowing. David has, you know, giving out one million for, you know, the people finding the Helen and her sister, Susan. And now I hear um, um, Token Makinwa is offering 500k to find a lady who called her out on Twitter for not paying her staff and whatnot. I don't really know what's happening with that story, but I'm going to keep an eye on that story because it's Token Makinwa involved. <laughs> so, guys, we are still trying to get a about the whole xenophobic attack and all the other things that was happening in SA that time and you know we're trying to recover and move on with our life you know amicably and you know in union and then this white Abercrombie guy aka decides to remind us that he you know is due for a bit in courtesy of Bonaboy. So you guys remember like a few months ago when the xenophobia thing was crazy and all celebrities were speaking out against it and aka was I don't know was talking out of his ass that time and Buddha boy of course said eh, eh, brother man zip it put a lock on it on gamble i'm gonna fuck you up well it turned out that Buddha boy is going to essay a news site reported that Buddha boy is going to be in essay in mzazi and that you know aka now is like ah oh, you're coming to my town i oh, am yeah, now sure you say you go you go treat my fuck up let's see how that goes so you're reminding a guy to beat you up is that what's happening because i know Buddha boy will fuck you up nigga got a black man blood in him to the core and i don't know how much he smokes every day but nigga will fuck you up so bono what's it gonna be man so now we need to talk about this lady who has made a career for herself as wait for it a miracle influencer <laughs> Jesus. so we were all blown away when videos of this miracle happened <laughs> But then, another one. Oh, 
and another one. Did you see what the Holy Ghost did? Here? Yes, sir. And another one. Hey! Whoa! I don't know about you, but my gut healing is final. I don't know how many times she needs to get healed. So this lady, I think she's like, her career is to be at a miracle vixen. She's in every church, you know, showing, you know, showing up for the pastor. People probably employ her and she probably even has a dress code because I think she likes blue. So we call it like miracle blue. <laughs> That's a new color right now. Miracle blue. Well, honestly, auntie, Jesus, we can make money out of everything. I think she's a contortionist. So maybe she can move her body in certain ways and then, I don't know, she started making, I don't know. But and see, if that's not the case, you need to collect warranty on your miracle. I don't understand why from one church to another, you are still, you are still treating the same thing. Kilo day, no warranty. Hey? Nothing I need to go see for this showbiz patrol. Anyway, that's all for showbiz patrol, you guys. I can't. I cannot deal. I'm going to follow up on the Tokyo Makima story. And I also heard that there's like a new Kiss Daniel saga brewing somewhere. Record label suing or something. So I'm going to find that out and I'm going to tell you guys what the gist is on Monday when I return back here on Showbiz Patrol. I'm here to bring you with the name Anika. That's all, guys. See you on Monday.